A hundred years ago today, two astronomers faced off in what came to be known as the Great Debate. The confrontation pitted two leading scientists against each other as they argued about the structure of the known universe. Back then, astronomers had only recently come to understand that we live in a galaxy, a vast conglomeration of hundreds of millions of stars, well, actually billions, as it turned out, shaped like an enormous flat disk with a kind of bulge in the middle. Because we live inside it, we see our galaxy as a milky band of light stretching across the sky, the familiar Milky Way. But what lay beyond our galaxy? When astronomers aimed their telescopes at seemingly empty parts of the night sky, they saw fuzzy blobs of light that they called nebulae. Some of them had distinctive spiral shapes. But what exactly were these spiral nebulae, and where were they? The great debate pitted Harlow Shapley of the Harvard College Observatory against Heber Curtis of the Lick Observatory in California. On April 26, 1920, the two men faced off in a debate sponsored by the National Academy of Sciences in Washington, D.C. The Academy's offices hadn't yet been built, so the debate took place in the Smithsonian's Natural History Museum. Okay, back to those nebulae that the astronomers were trying to make sense of. Shapley believed these nebulae were nearby, perhaps located within our Milky Way or just outside it. He figured that they were probably clouds of gas. Curtis, meanwhile, argued that these objects were galaxies in their own right, perhaps as big as our own Milky Way. It took a few more years before the issue was settled, but in the end, history has shown that Curtis was right, and his vision forced us to come to grips with the true enormity of the cosmos. Even though our galaxy is something like 100,000 light years across, it's just a speck in a much larger cosmos. A cosmos that we now know contains billions of galaxies and has a radius of some 45 billion light years.